Hi, in this video we will see how to create a circular pecking chart or circular tree map in ggplot using R. In our example, we will be using the following four libraries or packages, pack circles, ggplot2, dplot, and reshape. The, the first two libraries or packages help us to create the chart and the next two libraries or packages help us create the data which we need for our plot. And the data which we would use would be the COVID data. So I'll go to a website which has the COVID data. So it's our word in data.org. So running this command, we get the data. So the data is actually for all the countries and each date is in one row. So we would need the latest date. So I would simply take the latest date. So using the dplyr, I'll filter it by the maximum date. So this gives us the latest state data. So we only have one row of data, which is showing the current date or the latest state of uh, the data. And then we are going to melt it. So when we melt it, it has changed into a vertical or a, or a tall tata. So you can see each country is now one variable in, in, in this data. So we'll be using this data for our chart now. For our plot, I would only take the first top 20 countries. So here's the top 20 countries which we have. And on purpose, I've left the word as a separate entity in the data. Now the first step for our plot this command, cir circle progressive layout. So using the, the data which we have created, I run this command and that gives us the x, y coordinates for the position and the, and the radius. So with that, I would merge this data with my top 20 data which we created up there. So I call it my data. And you would notice that in my data, we have our first three values which came from our data table which we created earlier, or the data data frame. And then the, the, the PCK or the pack data has been merged into that. It actually needs two data sets to plot the actual map. So I would just highlight it for you. So this is the first. So this is the first data set, and then this is the second data set. So let me run this command, and you would know that my data is this file, and my plot coordinates come from this file. Now, we are ready to create our plot. So using the ggplot, we have the following um, commands. So if I run the first command, second, third, and the fourth, you get a basic circular packing plot. Now let's start refining it. You would notice that this is elliptical in, 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 in shape. And we got to get rid of the, the gray background as well. So let's start doing it. So using the coordinates equal, you can see that the ellipse have been changed to circles now. So the coordinates, the x x coordinate and the y axis, axis coordinates have been made equal. So that's why we get a circle coming up. Um, now, I want to get rid of the, the gray, so I'm using the theme void. And I also want to get rid of the legends. So I want to get rid of uh, legends by saying legend.position equals none. So if I run this chart again, you have a basic plot which is ready. And now to add a few more things, we can have, have the titles up there. We can have a subtitle. and
there we go now if i wanted to change the the, the fills i'll use another package called random color and i would generate a palette of 20 colors 20 different distinct colors based on the red hue and if i add this command scale fill manual and the values is the palette which i created which is a 20 random colors based on the red hue so if i run the whole plot again you would notice that the colors have actually been changed now so this is how you create a basic circular packing chart and i hope you found this uh, information useful thank you very much for watching it and i'll see you in the next one